What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I want to give a Quiet Gang notification gang shout out to Dahlia, Tia XO, Jen, and Just Be In Mina. Thank you ladies for being the first four to comment on my last video and thanks so much to everyone who tries to make it to these videos. In today's video, I'm making this set inspired by lip gloss. So I'm going to throw up on screen my inspiration photos, but first I'm going to show you guys how I created the acrylics that I used today. I created these using um, like makeup, pigment makeup, but first with my little container, I'm scooping into some ASP clear acrylic that you can get at Sally's Beauty Supply, but of course you can use whatever clear acrylic that you want. So these are like eyeshadow pigments. Actually, they're multi-purpose pigments and they're very inexpensive from Makeup Revolution, which is a very low-end brand, but they worked really well for what I wanted today. So the lip glosses I was inspired by, they kind of like mix in glitter to make it really cute and aesthetic. And depending on the theme of the lip gloss, like the flavor or the scent, they'll put different colors or different styles. And yeah, hopefully you guys get what I was going for. So for this one, I wanted to do like a purple type of acrylic mix. So I put the purple eyeshadow in just a bit to make it kind of like jellyish. And then I put a bunch of purple and iridescent glitter. That glitter palette I got from AliExpress from one of my AliExpress hauls. I'll link that down below. Um, by the way, I'm doing this set on a press-on set, but if you want to learn how to do acrylics from like start to finish to prevent lifting and have a long-lasting set and you're like a beginner, I'll have my acrylic for beginners video in the cards of this video. So here's a swatch of what that acrylic ended up looking like. If you guys also are looking for an acrylic brush, I do have um, some brushes that I really love and reach for all the time. The number 12 Oval Alpha from Alpha Brush, so I'll have that link down below. The brush I'm using today is a little bit bigger, but uh, I just can't find my number 12 Oval or it's somewhere hidden in my desk. It's the brush I usually go for, but I'm using a little bit of a bigger one. So now moving on to the second acrylic that I mixed. It's kind of like a flowery butterfly, like spring, summer one. And this one's not as jelly and it's definitely like chock full of glitter, like there's tons of glitter. So I just put a little bit of iridescent glitter and then a little bit of this pink one. I end up going back and adding more of this pink, more of the iridescent and the glitter. And then I'm taking a bunch of different butterflies that I got from Nail Heaven Supply Store and adding these all in, as well as these females. I feel like the females could have been left out because they didn't really show up in the set. They're actually so big, it was hard enough just picking up this like bead by itself. Uh, speaking of that, this type of acrylic, any type of acrylic mix that has like a bunch of chunky glitter in it like this, you're definitely gonna have to cap with clear, so just be mindful of that when you're um, making your set and applying the acrylic. Just make sure that you leave enough room to cap with clear acrylic and the nail is not overly bulky. So yeah, we're just gonna apply this as a design layer, like it's just a thin layer. Um, so yeah, um, I like how after applying them, everything was kind of like layered on top. Uh, instead of just like applying the color and then carefully adding on the glitter on top like I usually do I feel like mixing it in like this gave me more of a mixed up look like the nail actually looked like everything was mixed in And that's exactly what I wanted it to look for because of the lip gloss So yeah, this is the swatch at this point I feel like the pink was not really prominent enough. So I just go in and add some more of that pink If you guys like videos like this where I use makeup to create an acrylic, um, definitely check out the video from two videos ago. It will be linked in the cards right now. I used some glitter eyeshadow to create an acrylic freestyle on my fake hand. So yeah, check that out. I really love these types of videos. It's actually very fun and I I don't know, it's, it's like a... It's like new for me, experimenting and trying new things. So if you guys like this type of thing, let me know. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll do a lot more of these. If you have any ideas of stuff that I should put in nails, let me know. I was considering doing like um, a set using like highlighters or something along those lines. 
All right, so this is the last one and it's very simple, just putting in the clear acrylic and then I'm just going to put this um, glitter called Dippin' Dots from Nail Heaven Supply Store. And that's about it for this one and I really love the effect of this, it's amazing. And that is the swatch. So the monomer I'm using, by the way, is the Young Nails monomer. And here I am just applying the nails. I do have a Madame Glam XOXO gel polish on my natural nails. And then I just glued on these fake nails. I'm using the XXL Coffin and Stiletto from Eno Couture. And then I'm just going to apply the acrylic right on top. I like to do this because it allows me to remove the nails after the set. That way I can continue making these videos. But yeah, like I said, if you want to do this for an extended period of time, definitely check out the video in the cards so you can see how to prep your nails for application. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy this application. I'm just applying all of these colors on different fingers.
So to do the filing, I'm just going to take off the bulk. I'm using the churro bit from Eno Couture. I'm really loving this one. It's not a safety bit, so you need to be a little bit careful with this, but I like that I can get around my cuticle area. And because there's so much glitter and stuff, I'm trying really hard not to just file straight through any of it, so I'm being careful about that. That's really that's why it's really important to make sure that when you're applying the product, you're not like making it too thick, because then you'll have to file straight through it, and it won't look so good. And with these stiletto nails, I'm going to be like tapering them in a lot because I like a really snatched, kind of like pointy stiletto lately. So I have another round of YouTuber shout outs. If you guys are feeling like YouTube is a little bit dry lately and you want to discover some new channels, I'm doing these shout outs until everything goes back to normal with core and all that. So my first shout out is going to Phoenix Rising. What I really found interesting about her channel is that she does motivational videos to help you get through the week. And I feel like that's really unique. I don't really see a lot of channels that do that type of content. And then we also have Whitney Christina Nail. She has a ton of nail content on her channel. And we also have Tierra Justine. She has nail tutorials, product reviews, and more on her channel. So you guys, if y'all are interested, their links will be in the card. So after I took down the bulk with the e-file, I'm just gonna use my Young Nails 100 100 Grit Hand File and finish shaping up the nails. So the last thing I'm going to do is apply the top coat. This is the shiny gel, and then I'm going to cure in the lamp.
all right guys so this is the final result if you guys did enjoy this video please let me know down below make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if any of y'all are new please subscribe and hit that notification bell thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all my patrons hope you guys are doing well and i love y'all i'll see you in the next one bye